The next thing we want to touch on with the Martelli cutting system is the no slip strip ruler. Kind of a tongue twister, no slip strip ruler, but there's several features that, and benefits that you need to see with the ruler. Number one and most importantly, every other ruler on the market, as soon as you put that ruler down, the ruler slides all over the place, okay? So the first thing you have to do is get, put all your weight and get on top of that ruler, therefore bringing your blade from your rotary cutter from here, now bring it to the middle of your body, okay? Look at the bottom of my ruler. There's no sandpaper, there's no grippy, there's nothing sticky right there. But yet, when I push down on my ruler, my ruler locks. My ruler will never slide. Now, let's put some fabric under there because a lot of people say, yeah, but what about if there's fabric under there? Even if there's fabric under there, the ruler locks and the ruler will not slide, okay? Second thing you need to know with the, the no-slip ruler is you're gonna see different size measurements. Whatever you have from here to here, which is the arrow, will give you an exact measurement. In other words, from here to here is one and a quarter. From here to here is two and a quarter. From here to here is three. Now, you might be saying, well, where's from here to here? You're gonna notice there's little tiny slots in my ruler. Now, the difference between the slots in my ruler and the slots in everybody else's ruler is everybody else's ruler in the world that has slots in it, here's the problem with it. The slots in the ruler has big gaps in it, just like that, I don't know if you can see it, has big gaps in it like that. Well, the problem, as you know, if you're doing rotary cutting, if you're off one centimeter from left to right, it doesn't matter which direction, it throws your whole cut off. So one thing that we've designed in our no slip ruler is I put a zero tolerance line for the strips in my ruler. Now I want you to notice something. Look what that does for my blade. It keeps my blade perfectly straight up and down so I can't be off on my cut. So now when I'm doing my strip cutting, I get an exact measurement and I'll show you that here in a second. Also, I wanna share with you um, with the slip ruler is you can actually do bias and this is in, in, in combination uh, with your mat, but most importantly, how many times have you taken your ruler and you bump your ruler and you have to start everything that you've already done all over again? Well, watch what happens when I bump my ruler. I want you to watch my fabric. See how my fabric stays with my ruler? So if you ever bump your ruler, you never lose your cut line. You can just bring your ruler from where, to, where you bumped it to and bring it back to its original point of origin and you can continue your cutting. Now, remember we discussed bias a minute ago? This is kind of putting the mat with the ruler a little bit, but you have to get the full uh, view advantage point of this, okay? You're gonna see a 45 degree and a 60 degree built into my mat, okay? So one thing I'm gonna do is if I'm cutting my bias, obviously I'm gonna do corner to corner, okay? Just like this. We'll get a little bit close right there. Won't be perfect. Now, I'm gonna put my ruler on the 45, okay? Just like this. Now remember, we never lose our cut line. So now I can actually cut a strip just like this. And because my fabric stays with my ruler, I can turn my ruler because I already know that my fabric's on the 45. And no matter what size strip I want to cut, it's built in. Let's say I wanted to cut two and a quarter. I can actually take that and I can cut that. So now when you're done, actually my, my strips are built in. Look, see the perfect bias? It's all built into the mat. So now you can use your ruler with your mat and you can use them together um, so you can cut your bias and your different size strips, any size strip that you want. And the other great thing about the no slip ruler is there's no more guesswork. Between the ruler and the mat, it does all the work for you. Um, and there's a multitude of rulers that we have that have strips. We have them in half inch inter intervals. We have them uh, all your different size binding intervals. We have two and a half or two and a quarter, which I believe are your log cabin intervals. So we have a lot of um, different rulers that we have, no slip rulers, that does the same thing for whatever purpose it is that you're doing. Uh, now, one of my favorites, which I'm saving best for last, and this completes the Martelli cutting system, and then I'll kind of put a, 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 an overview on everything as you use them together, um, is the mat. And this is really, really a unique mat. This is different than any other mat in the world. Um, one thing I want to share, the first thing I'm going to go over, okay, is self-healing. A lot of mats say, okay, my mat is a self-healing mat. But the problem with that is if you went to the store and you said, okay, sir or ma'am, can I take your mat, poke a hole in it, and if it heals itself, I'll buy it right now. They'll say, well, no, you have to buy it first. Well, this is a good demo that I like to show everybody, okay? I'm going to make it really clear. You're going to see the 17. Directly underneath the 17, you're going to see a box. I'm going to push down as hard as I can right here, okay? I'm going to put a big old hole in my mat, and we're going to come back to it at the end of the demo. You see that right there? 
That's a good slice in there. I have tons of those all over the mat. Now, it's actually, while your eyes are on there, it's actually going to be closing while you're watching it. Now, you can see a bunch of cut lines on your mat, but you'll never be able to feel them. You'll never get those little fuzzies or those gouges. You know those big gouges that you get after cutting over and over and over again? And this is imperative, and I'm going to mention again, at the end of the video, I really want you, when you buy the Martelli cutting system, it's imperative that you watch the instructional video because there's a proper way to cut and an improper way to cut. Next thing we want to cover is accuracy. Every mat in the world, they put these big old lines on there. And besides that, the largest line on the mat represents either a half inch or a full inch. But the problem with that is that in quilting, we don't use that for anything. So what they've done is they've taken a man's tape measure and they taped it on the inside edge of a piece of plastic and they said, here, use it. The problem with that is you can't use it to measure with, you can't iron on it, you can't um, put it in the hot because it will get little warps in it. You can't put it in cold because it will crack. So you spend all this money on a mat that you can't use. First thing you want to notice is if you look at my mat, okay, you're going to see the measurements are on the outside edge of my mat, okay? Now the reason why we do that is for yardage. Do you realize right now in this industry everything is based on yardage and you can't even cut a full yard on your mat because the measurements are on the inside edges? Well, look what I did with my mat. I have a true 24 by 36 mat, but it's a 26 by 38 because I put the measurements on the outside edge. So what does that do for you? That tells you that you can do a cut here, a cut here, and a cut here. So when you're cutting your yardage, you can actually move it down. Also, notice how thin the lines are on my mat. They're very, very thin. We did that because the thinner the lines are on your mat, the more accurate of a cut we get. So. Also, with that being said, I want you to look at my mat real quick. You're going to see an inch from here to here, from here to here. Inside every inch, the most prominent line on my mat is a quarter inch. Now, that proves you there's a lot of thought that went into this mat. The reason why we made the quarter inch the prominent line is because that's a seam allowance. So we built our seam allowance in. Also on our mat, we have measurements that go through the entire mat like crosshairs of a gun. That gives you seven cutting sections, one, two, three, four. And then, of course, on the other side, we have three. Now, while I have the mat turned, I'm going to show you. We were the industry leaders. We were the first one to develop um, two-sided mat, not only that, contrasting colors. It's called easy on the eyesies. Depending on the material that you cut, well, that's depending on what side you use. Now, also, and this is very important, too, and you're going to find this on the instructional DVD, you're going to see quilt blocks that are actually built into the cutting mat. Because right now, what you do, ladies, is you take a ruler, you measure cut, measure cut, measure cut. Then you take six more layers and you measure cut, measure cut, measure cut. And you do this anywhere from 50 to 150 times depending on the size of your quilts and your quilt blocks. Well, if I can do 30 layers at a time, this is how I do it. I take my quilt blocks, I put them down, I make cut here, a cut here, a cut here, and a cut here, and I'm done. Four cuts gives me an entire quilt block. Four cuts makes me an entire quilt block. Um, again, and that's with the Martelli cutting system. Now, one more time, I'm going to add to you this very important before we go back and check this where I, where I made that cut. Very imperative when you get your Martelli cutting system and you get it at home, very imperative watch the instructional DVD because it goes in depth and shows you exactly how to cut the quilt blocks. Okay. Um, also, one thing I want to add to you is right here, remember I said self-healing mat, we poked a hole in it? Right underneath the 17, you're going to see a little tiny speck. It looks like a piece of hair. This is the only true self-healing mat in the world that I have ever come across. And I've seen every mat on the market to date that I'm aware of, unless there's one that I haven't seen, but I've been doing this for 14 years. Um, one other thing that I wanted to share with you is in the next segment, I'm going to show you how to cut quilt blocks and make your triangles with no effort, allowing your mat to do all the work. Again, this is the Martelli cutting system. So in a nutshell, just to wrap everything up, you have a mat that's self-healing that you will never destroy. If cut properly, this mat will last you the rest of your life. You have a ruler that will never break on you, okay? It's PVC. Also, you'll never lose your cut line. Also with your ruler, how many times have you lift, lifted your ruler up and your fabric shifts? Well, because our ruler is PVC, watch this. When my fabric is down, if I pin one side of the ruler and I lift the other side of the ruler up, watch my fabric very carefully. See how my fabric never moves? If you have a solid piece of acrylic, it creates a vacuum. So if you lift your ruler up, the whole fabric shifts. So that's also nice to have with your no-slip ruler. And again, 
multiple layers with my rotary cutter, more accuracy when you're cutting out templates and you're cutting out designs. It is the best cutting system on the market to date. Uh, again, thank you for watching the uh, tutorial on the Martelli cutting video.